Good mate. So I've got Dan, an inflatable ibis, or a bin chicken as they call them. <laughs> big giant bin chicken. How do you feel about it mate? I'm super excited mate. <laughs> it's big. Oh yeah, it's going to be big. There's a lady there, the silhouette of the lady, and apparently she's 200 centimetres tall. Actually she's bigger than 200 centimetres because yeah. her head continues above it. So they're suggesting that that gets to 2, two metres, metres tall. tall. It's a big chicken mate. Take up half the river. It's a big woman as well. She's on her toes though. Eh? Zap. Where's our inflate points? Here's one. Beautiful. I don't think it's going to be two metres tall. No. I think it's going to be a bit under. Yeah. That's a big head though. It is a big head. Look at it go. That looks great. How far are we going? So with the turns in the river, I reckon it's probably about three and a half, four k's. We'll call it four k's. Four k's on the bin chicken. Where are we going to end up? The red clue. Like a pub? restaurant a pub that's closed today it might be closed it'd be a pub with no beer <laughs> like a poof of valve. there is there is a bottle inflated or not because you might i don't think it, i don't know i mean the the extra chamber might matter after watching your llama video because if you leave it and it doesn't get a puncher yeah because it's off the water we can inflate it swim and blow it up and then get back on it yeah well, you can <laughs> yeah, Doug be right on his uh, canoe, so he, I think he's going to tow me. Oh. I felt bad watching that actually. I hope people generally feel bad when they're watching my videos, man. Permanent marker. How are we going? Got a headache. Oh. Put a name on her bum, mate. Hit what are we going to call her? What, what's the first thing you think of? when you see it. Stupidity. Stupidity. The HMA stupidity? Pretty good name really. Oh, that's actually, it rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? HMA stupidity. Can you spell stupidity though? No. That would be. <laughs> According to vocabulary.com, stupidity is the quality of being stupid. It's the opposite of intelligence. Stupidity is responsible for many ACTS that follow the words. Hey, watch this. <laughs> Does HMAS stand for anything? Is it H.M. So, uh, what does HMAS stand for? <laughs> Her Majesty's Australian ship. Is there a dot between the letters? Well, I think yeah. there should be. I think. Don't put them on that. Oh, you're biting on HMAS. You're going to have written it your own name. HMAS. The HMAS stupidity. Why didn't you put the HMAS Melbourne? Because that new. I didn't think that it. Did it? We don't want to jinx ourselves. No, I'd like to come and watch it because I reckon you're going to be pissed that it's coming back on that. We're, um, we've, got a, we've got a car down at Redcliffe on the Murray. Which has an esky full of beer in it, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. <laughs> they have faith, mate. There was no faith there. The good people, the good people of Pinjara have faith. They wanted to call it the HMAS Melbourne because they think it's sunk or it got close to sinking. It makes the people happy and that's what this is all about, isn't it? Making it is. us happy and making ma making <laughs> making the people happy. Stupid with an idity on the end, wouldn't it? Stu stupid itty. You've done stud. Stupidity. No, no, you, you, you've missed the P. Oh, well, that still works. We'll call it the HMA stupidity. <laughs> to be fair, mate, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be 100 percent on the spelling either. I totally S bait that, eh? Yeah, you've really. Yeah, the HMA <laughs> stu stu did. I reckon just finish it. Own it uh, with the stupidity. Let's own it. Yeah. <laughs> Insert P here, mate. That's perfect. You couldn't have done that any better. <laughs> <laughs> we're about here in Pinjara in the boat ramp, and we're going to try to get down river. Jeez, wherever the river is, let's just pretend this crack here is the river. To a pub called Redcliffe on the Murray. Like this video to win the bin chook. That's a great idea. If you're watching this right now, you can like the video, comment on the video, and be subscribed to the channel. You can win the chook. I will if if it makes it, we will repackage it. So like, put this, it back like in. this video. What'd you say? Comment. Got to comment because the comment will be the entry ticket. Otherwise, I don't know who's liked it because I can't see who likes and the videos. Subscribe. Yeah, and you got to be subscribed. Hey. Yes. Now I got to focus. Hid, the camera right next to your face. Hid. And we'll just... Because you're going to win it. That's it. With a little smile. It could be yours. It could be yours. Like, <laughs> comment, subscribe. All right, I've got the Mighty Bombora right here. And um, let's go find someone to launch, haven't we? I should have just driven down the ramp. It's yeah. big, man. It's really big. It's not two metres tall like the, um, the box says. I think that's what that's for. All right. Let's uh, just check the tightness of your thong. How's the length of the paddle? I think the paddle's too short. 
Oh, I think we might have to swap paddles, mate, because I've got a longer paddle. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, you're making a bit of ground already. I better go catch up to him. Viewers, this is uh, a Bombora wave ski. Mighty Bombora, it's an Australian brand, and it's been in my family for as long as I can remember. We never talked about the, the potential of bull sharks in here. I don't even know if we need the rope. Oh, isn't that serene? Really hope there is no bull sharks. Can't even see his leg. That's a bit of a worry, isn't it? They just disappear my into the water. Are in my thongs um, are in my foot holster. I've sacrificed my own feet so I can protect my thongs. That's probably a bad idea, hey? To be fair, mate, I think if there was a giant bull shark in the river, it would want to eat a bin chicken. <laughs> oh, I hope I got that. I was, I was mid-turn. <laughs> or are you I swimming? Am, I am walking. <laughs> oh, I really hope there's no bull sharks in here. The bottom's all like um, like sandy and muddy at the same time. I oh, am. Yeah. Is it nice and refreshing? It is. There's, there's layers. You know, in, like in a river, like the top is really salty. Layers. <laughs> oh, because they're like onions. <laughs> you want to see the most glamorous thing you've ever seen? Let's see this majestic mount. Oh, oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, I'm on it. Like a ballerina. Right. He's just figuring out his centre of gravity, I think. That's, that is Australia's ass right there. <laughs> There's two Marvel references, I think. I don't know how many more Marvel references we can do today. I'm, cor I'm the correct direction on it now. You're slowly getting there, mate. That looks good. It looks good. How are you going faster? What if I just push you? I'm actually hooking it along, eh? You are moving, man. Here I was thinking I'll be towing you down the river and you're bloody just taken off. Probably three or four kilometres to go. This is going to be a good one. Strap in, get yourself a cold beer or a warm drink, depending on what time of day it is, and enjoy the adventure. I feel like the head is acting as somewhat of a sail. It is acting as a sail, isn't it? Uh, look, at, look at the yeah. speed on him. Oh, don't drift into the um, sticks. You'll pop it. 100 metres in... Probably 200. ...in 10 minutes. And I've only fallen off once. Oh, there's a boat coming. Oh, which side do you go when there's a boat coming? Which way do you go? Do you go to the right or do you go to the left? You go to the left of it. The rules, I think, is the left. Or is oh, it the shit. Right? I don't know. Just go straight at it. <laughs> I feel like I have a fair chance. You know what's going to happen here is the wake off the boat is going to, like... Oh, that's going to be fun. ...cause turmoil for us. G'day, mate. Oh, here we go. Oh, that looks fantastic, Dan. How does anyone ride this in the ocean? <laughs> Gotta believe this, hey, that the bin chicken is easily, easily outrunning <laughs> the Bombora. Caught behind the nation blinds, how to reach for the city lines. And this ain't where I belong. Hey, look at me, man, what I become. I've been running least looking for some digging deep since nine nine. Dan and I have stopped for a, a water break on what can only be, be described as a like a farm beach. How good is that? Yeah, I'll put it there. Oh yeah. There's evidence. How good is it? White sand on the Murray. And you've reluctantly agreed. Uh, He's going to ride the Bombora for a bit, and I'm going to uh, ride the HMA Stupidity. Well, what did we say at the start? The plan was you were going to tow me down the Murray River. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think I've been towing you. <laughs> it's the um, it's the sail capabilities of the bin chicken's head, which I, I, I didn't actually, didn't expect it at all. I really think because you can feel it, and you'll notice. Mm -hmm. You ride the HMA Stupidity. Should I keep getting it, Bombora? Bombora. The Mikey Bombora. Bombora, Australia's windsurf. Oh, look at this in the back. It's just so fit. Did you notice the last people that we went past didn't want to interact with us at all? Oh, you go through the neck first. Just fall backwards, mate. Fall back. Hey! hey just like that. Yeah, that wedged in here. <laughs> you look majestic on that. What was my problem? How did you make it look so good? <laughs> Let's be fair. I could make wearing that cow shit look good. <laughs> Sail away with me, honey. Put my heart in your hand. Oh, he's gonna give me the bin chicken back. Is that enough? It is not as hard as Doug is making it look. And there he goes. The perfect dismount. I've lost the thong. He's very much <laughs> stuck. At least he won't get burnt under there. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, this is a cure for sunburn. Losing thongs. Let's save the thong. This is Dan now mounting. <laughs> a couple of buddies. Couple of boats, one river, one pub, one destination, one challenge. I think the wind's coming towards us, mate. They're blowing us back up the river. Struggle. Do you want to tie on? I might tie you for a bit, mate, if you like. I'm going to tie you onto my bum. 
Sorry if there's any professional uh, sailors watching, that is not a correct knot, but it'll do the job, eh? You know, a hospital security guard once told me, if you can't tie knots, tie lots. I mean, this looks magical. You've got the sun coming down on you, and the water's all glistening, and then it's just you. <laughs> Going with the flow. I live my life going by the flow. My happiness is my responsibility and no one else's. How fast do you reckon we're traveling? Ah, in knots or kilometers? Give us give it to us in knots and then and convert it to kilometers for us. I'd say zero knots and zero kilometers. <laughs> oh no. Oh we've got a boat. Ride the weight on the left. This is a big boat too. We, we wouldn't get up there. You'll be alright if you stay right in the middle and look out for sticks and sandy bits and that sort of stuff. You'll be alright, I reckon. Other boats come down. I've seen smaller boats. Yours is quite big in comparison. No worries. Again, another little beach, isn't it? It's just awesome yeah, here. Just uh, our own little patch of paradise. The Henry Stroke boat ramp was our launch point. Uh, Red Cliff on the Murray is I'd, our. I'd say halfway. So if you look on the map, we started down here, mm -hmm. Henry Street, the boat ramp. We travelled, we're up here, Wilson Road. One more bend. And then we're there. At the red And we're bang on halfway. Halfway. Here comes yellow fin again. It's yellow. Let's see if they'll tow you for a few hundred metres. Reckless cabin. Yeah. Oh, there's two. Luxury. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the struggle is real. Just hold on to him for a sec, man. It's all good. <laughs> I'm worried about falling into the outboard, the black. Oh, we're pretty close now. We're pretty close. We're pretty close. Oh, you're beauty! Thank you very much. Oh, here we go. Caught behind the Venetian blinds Out of reach for the city lines There's Captain Kerry. <laughs> kind of how I envisioned the day going. <laughs> a plan? Don't die. Don't die. We, um, we parked one of our cars up at the uh, Red Cliff and then we drove our other one down to the Pinney boat ramp there. And we're just going to see how long it took to, to bloody paddle down. I think we've done really well not to stack it. Happened. Oh, dug you down. I might um I might thank them for their uh, journey and we'll paddle from here. I don't think we've got that much further to go, mate. We can't. It, it must only be another couple hundred meters, I reckon. Oh yeah, that was quality. You've got us a, a fair chunk up the river. I was just whinging at Dan, saying it was I couldn't hold on, but. I have no excuse because the, the, the drag on this would not have been very much, but the drag on yours. Look at my hands. The huge, eh? That was Brad and um, I didn't get the name of the shearer. I couldn't bloody hear him over the motor. No, no, I missed not sure. name as well. But if you're watching, thank you very, very much. That was, that was pretty cool, eh? Now, infinite wisdom of being towed behind a boat. We have overshot Redcliffe on the Murray, gone around onto this second bend. Now, now, now it's upstream. Shit. Why did we do <laughs> This is uh, Dan reporting. Doug is telling me upstream back to where we should have gotten off the boat. Well, a long time ago. No point in dwelling on the past. We are responsible for our own happiness. And I'm not, I'm not unhappy. Not at all. Just paddling down a river, mate. Or up a river, I should say. I thought he was going to use two arms, but he seems to be using an arm and a foot. It's really deep here, eh? I, I fell off and I couldn't touch the bottom at all. How are you feeling? Fucking buggered, hey. Absolutely shattered. Who would have thought, bloody... This would be difficult. You go, you majestic creature. Bam. 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 <sighs> Dan and I have pulled over. We're 100 metres from what I believe to be is the jetty for the pub. It's over there. Paddle, get out, carry our vessels up to the car park, which is up there somewhere. It's probably a couple hundred meter run. And first one to the back of the car. If it touches the back of the car, wins. Five bucks. Five bucks. Five dollar ooze. Paddles. Paddles. 
Yeah. Oh, no kicking. No. No getting off and swimming. All right, it's going to be a running start, kids. You ready? Go. Go. <laughs> Dan's already sacked it. I'm doing this one-handed, kids, so I'm at a slight disadvantage. Oh, Dan, he's already off. I've got to set the camera up. Well, there's no way that I can overtake him running up those stairs either way. Oh, he's got the spin. Remember to breathe. He's yelling something I can't understand. I don't want to understand him. Just want to win. The finishing line is the Forester. Touch the back of the Forester. Again, I'm not going to be able to get past him unless I literally push him over the edge. And I, I mean, I probably could bring myself to do that. The river's a bit um, shallow at the minute, mate. How are you going to get up there? Oh, shit, he's on. Oh, no. Oh, I can stand here. <laughs> oh, he's off and running. Not even on the path. The only advantages I have here is he doesn't know where he's going. It can only be described as the world's slowest iron man. the bridge <laughs> his rope is stuck <laughs> oh the rope is free now oh, damn it he can see his car oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put the chair back oh, come on <laughs> wave ski is so heavy oh, you bugger Oh, it's good. Oh, there it is. I'm knocking the chair over. I threw a chair. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a sucker, eh? I just couldn't not pick it up. Memory of the great Shane Warne. A bloody VB, mate. Oh.